basketball back in the day in my freshman year of football. Nerves to start the season are great, but when it's against your cross county rival, oh, it's you. even greater. Terry, I, I used to, I could get myself so worked up for a game, I'd almost get lightheaded and tired. Adams is deep to receive, along with I think that's Musgrove. I can't see for sure. Musgrove, I'm pretty sure. Gaspar strides forward. Oh, big kick. Deep, and Musgrove gets it at the 11. Back up to 15, the 20. Got a little crease. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. That was a nice kick by Hobby Gaspar. Kick it to the back right. Had a lot of air on it. Kane and Musgrove, number 32 for Gordonville, does a nice job get it from the hash, get to the middle of the field, and then cutting back up the field, running north and south. Nice job by that young man to get Gordonville to start on their opening possession at the 35-yard line. You know, that's the one thing about them. They have been going hurry up a lot in the fall for the Owls. Really going to have to get that defensive call in there quickly. It's first and 10 at the 35, six seconds in. Johnny Lida checks in. Owls have got 11 black shirts, and there's Gordonville with a couple receivers to the right. That is Climber and Gentry. All written in shotgun. Got to his right, kind of bobbles it, looks for running room, gets none, and is chopped down by Tristan Marshall right at the 35. At that time, we had a bobble snap from all Britain there. He had to regather the ball, so it kind of messed up the time, and he got outside the pocket to the right. Nice job by the senior Tristan Marshall coming up from his cornerback position and taking the leg out from under all Britain for no gain. Second and 10 for Gordonsville, opening series of this game. Second 10 at their own 35. All Britain in shotgun, Musgrove to his left. He'll turn. He'll hand the breath stroke. No, he fakes it. Al's jumped the he's route, and he's got nowhere to go. He's shot. It's a sonic foul. Oh. And now there's a flag for some reason. I didn't see a late hit over there. They're going to call a late hit. What happened on that play is all Britain got flushed out of the pocket, and he went down out of bounds slowly, and I think we had a pile on by one of the Owls there, and it's going to be a free first down. Terry, we mentioned penalties. Second play of the game, costly one. 32-yard line, lost three. They're going to call personal foul, Smith County, and give the Tigers, who are going to be facing third and 13, a first down. Huge call. Terry, I, I, I think we laid on him, but I, I don't know if anything was vicious because I couldn't see on the opposite side of the field for us as it happened right on the sidelines of Gordonville. First and 10 at the 47, first, first down of the game for the Tigers comes courtesy of an owl personal foul. First and 10 to 47, wanting to reset the play clock, and they eventually do. Now we're ready to play. Albritton in the shotgun, must roll behind him. Albritton looking to throw. Ah! Who is it? Jamison Keeley. Can't block him. Jamison Keeley, number nine, probably the best athlete on the field on either team. He's been hard to block for this is going on his fourth year. Keeley shoots right through there and hits Albritton before he can do anything. I've said Jameson Keeley's name now for four years, Terry. Second 16 from the 41 after the Sonic sack. And now, referee Stan Rigsby has got to come out. Not sure what's wrong. Must be something Could equipment. Be blood or equipment. Sure. But checking in is Kylan Johnson. Johnson back there and Keelan Doe Harris with two safeties. The two corners are Jermaine Kaysen and Johnny Lida. Al's in a three-man front. Second and 16 for the Tigers. Send a man into motion. Roll that way. Albrecht looking deep. Sack! Nope. Gets away. Martin says, no, sir. Sack again. Man, Albrecht is running for his life. Second play in a row. Albrecht tries to roll to his left towards the home sidelines here. He's got pressure from Keeley. He's got pressure from the entire defensive line. I think he escaped the sack from Keeley and then gets taken down by Martin. Uh, Terry, he had no chance. Third and 20 from the 37. And, Terry, we mentioned that our defensive line will be a tremendous strength. So, here will be Albritton in the shotgun once again. Must throw behind him. Third and 20. Looks to throw it. Does in the flat. Out there to Gentry. Spins off an owl, but he's about 10 yards, and that's it. So, it sets up fourth and 10 after the completion. Yeah, third and long there. Uh, Gordonville just wants to get back some of the lost yardage. They throw a quick pass out there. He breaks one tackle, 
gets a nice gain there, but it's going to be fourth down. And like Terry said, 10, maybe 10 and a half. The wonderful punt team is coming onto the field. Fourth and 10 for the Tigers. 9-10, no score here in the first quarter from here at Al Stadium, the initial series of the game. And Bryson Greer will punt, gets it away. It's a knuckler. Rigsby receives his 24 and gets out about the 27, 28-yard line. That's a nice job by Clayton Rigsby. They're coming up on a short end-over-end punt there to prevent the roll and got them yardage. So a nice job by that young man in field position. Huge play. Corey, go ahead with your read, please. The Southside Lions Club is a proud supporter of high school sports and would like to wish the very best of the Owls this 2022 football season. Go ahead. The Moose at Washport Express is a proud supporter of our local athletes located at 51 Dixon Springs Highway in Carthage. First and 10 from the 28 after the 29-yard uh, punt and the four-yard return. Owls will have it. They've got Caden Powell at quarterback, the freshman. Uh, now they're chasing one of the Gordonville players off. Not sure what happened. Uh, Remington Baines. I don't know if they don't have the knee pads pulled down. It's got to be over the knees, I guess. I don't know. The freshman Jay Foster ran onto the field. Here is Powell. He's got to his right, Johnson. They all shifted a couple of players with Hicks and Lawler. It's in a man in motion, which is lighter. They'll turn. They'll give it straight ahead, but nothing going for Johnson. Um, probably no gain. Yeah, that time had a lot of movement in the backfield. Give to Johnson going left to right. He cuts up over right tackle. Well, there is nobody there. As Gordonville's defensive line really brought it on that first play. And the back judge done took a spill after no gain. It is second 10 for the L. 8.25 to go first quarter. No score from here in Carthage. Gordonville and Smith County. Powell. In the backfield, it gives it on a little slice handoff to Hicks. Hicks got a little running room. He's got about five or six yards, does Hicks, Peyton Hicks. Yeah, nice job there by Hicks. That time, like Terry mentioned, ran a slice play, misdirection, and Hicks was going to cut it out to the left, but he saw a hole up the middle, made a good juke move back to the right, lowered his head, carried a couple of Gornville defenders, and picked up a nice gain there on second and ten. Sets up third and five from about the 33 and a half for the out, the short five. I was trying to gain their initial first down. We had one for Gordonville on an owl penalty. Five-man front. They'll turn. They'll give nothing there. And dancing around is Curry. He may have got a couple out to 36, but it'll set up a punting situation. Uh, that time, Gordonville's defensive line knocked the owl's offensive line in the backfield. We gave it to Curry over right tackle, and he had absolutely nowhere to go. So nice job by Gordonville's defensive line that time on third and five. Sets up a forward and fourth and three, excuse me, from the 36. That's going to be, excuse me, fourth and two. It was a three-yard game, not a two-yard game. I was going to say, they extended players off just like the, it's got to be equipment. Corey, I don't think, think anything else would be. But two punt is Hicks. It's definitely the first game of the season. Yep, Kaysen runs on late. He'll be a gunner on the left side. Gunner on the right side is Lida, and the play clock runs out. Nope, they reset it. 6.45, clock county, first quarter. Snapping it. Curry for the out. Gordon's got a couple of players deep to receive the Hicks punt. Hicks punt is away. Pretty good one, and they'll pick it up at the 20. Clip. And there's a clip in the back. Getting the return is climber, but uh, it's going to be a clip, and it's going to come back. Uh, Corey, Corey, go ahead. Hashtag Holly. Shop hashtag Holly for ladies and little girl clothing plus a gift room. Also have Duke Cannon products for men located on Main Street in Carthage. And we've got a legal block on Gordon Full. It was kind of blatant there. Uh, it was a nice kick by Hicks. He kicked it right between the two Gordon Full returners. And uh, Gornsville, the, the returner ran to the right, brought it back to the left. And when you miss direction on one of those, it's easy to pick up a clip. And that's exactly what happened. So Gornsville's going to start at the pretty deep. On 24. So that's called Gordonsville 10. On the penalty, first and 10, 24. 623, scoreless first quarter. Now a four-man front. All Britain's got a couple of receivers. I mean, uh, running backs. They'll flare it out there to Musgrove. He'll break a couple of tackles, but 
not much yardage, maybe three or four. And nice job by Musgrove. That time, Musgrove in the shotgun with Albritton. They send him in motion to the right. Albritton hits him immediately in the flat. He breaks the initial row of Al defenders and picks up some positive yardage on first down for Gordonsville. Of course, Albritton is a got a rifle for an arm for sure. He can get it out quick. Second and six from the 28 for Gordonsville. No score here. 5.53 just past the halfway point of the first quarter. Albritton going to throw again. Got it complete. And they got a first down. They got it raised up and hit Hancock out there in the flat. Yeah, that's way too easy there. A lot of cushion there. They just raised up and threw a short out. Did all Britain right there? Too, was that number fourteen, Terry Hancock? Hancock. Yep. And he got the positive yardage to move the chains. Gornville in the hurry up. Yeah, it's a thirty-five. They'll hand he it off, hammered. and Musgrove gets nothing. Musgrove runs over left guard into a wall of Ty Martin, Javi Gaspar, Jamison Keeley. Nowhere to go as he lost probably, I a thought he lost half a yard. Maybe not. football, maybe. Albritton in the shotgun once again. Second and ten. Rolls to his left. Look in, throws it over Climber's head. Underneath coverage there by Phillips and uh, caused that pass to be errant. errant. That time Albritton rolls to his left. He had... Brady Gentry running a deep corner route and number 11, Peyton Clymer running in the out route. He tried to hit Clymer and overthrew him into the out sideline. Third and 10 for the Tigers. Got two first downs in the game thus far. One on the first drive, one on this drive. Third and 10. 4.59. Clock stop with the incompletion here in this first quarter of play here in Carthage. Once again, Albritton in the shotgun sends Adams in the motion right to left. Looking, 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 going deep. Adams is open, but it's intercepted. He overthrew him. It's intercepted. By oh, he's got room. Harris. He's got room. 45, 40, 35, 30. Down to the 26-yard line, and now we've got a flag. That was absolutely stupid. We had a player, Corey, 20 yards behind the play. Clip a guy. It's going to cost us 15. going to cost us 15 plus the yardage. It's going to cost you a lot of yardage. Um, what we had going on there was a nice play call by Gordonsville. They had multiple receivers running out. Guy had one wide open running down the seam route. Ball was barely overthrown by Albright. And like Terry mentioned, it was intercepted by Kelando Harris, who had a nice return. and yeah, Nearly to the 20-yard line. Yeah, I mean, Owls would have started in the red zone. Instead, they're going to cross back over midfield, and he's still walking. Back to the 46. And, and – that's just discipline, Corey. You can't do that. Basically, it was a, about a 36-yard penalty if you want to be technical. Right. It cost us about 36 yards there. And I know everybody gets excited. It's a very heated game, especially after an interception. People running crazy trying to make blocks, but very unnecessary uh, When penalty. you're 20 yards behind the play, that guy's not going to catch Keyondo Harry, period. <laughs> With that being said, though, it was a nice interception by Keyondo to hold on to that and break the initial tackle to get loose. Well, 15-yard penalized on the clip. First and 10th, they're on 46. 447 to go first quarter, no score. And the shotgun is Powell. Looks to throw. Looking, 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 looking for Powell. Undercut, there's Baines, but he can't hold on. So it's incomplete, and we've got a flag. That time we tried to run a deep out route to number 13 there. Holding Smith County. Jay Phillips. Ball was undercut by the cornerback. Number six there for Gordonsville. I think Remington Baines almost picked that off. So the Owls penalized once again. Yellow flags have hurt us in the first quarter. That's a 14-yard holding call. So back-to-back 15 and 14-yard infraction. They mark that off from the spot of the foul. It's first and 24 from the 32. Pile the freshman. And no, lot into motion. He cuts up. Got a little run room, but not much. Don't think he, if he got anything, he got maybe a yard. Yeah, that time we motioned Johnny Lida from right to left. Got to get it to him kind of on a speed sweep. Gordonsville does a nice job keeping outside containment, forcing Lida to cut back inside where there's more help from Gordonsville defenders there. and Very minimal gain, if any. Second and 23. We're going to give him a gain of a yard. 
second 23 from the 33, 414 Clock County in this first quarter. In the shotgun is Powell, 10 seconds on the play clock. Has Curry to his left. Rolls to his left. Got a little pressure. Looking to throw it. Got nice complete to Lada. A lot of out to about the 44, 45 yard line. Hey, nice job by the freshman, Caden Powell there. Starting his very first game at quarterback. He rolls to the left. Has to step up in the pocket to get away from a Gordonsville defensive end. And makes a nice pass to Lada running a deep in route. Terry to cut in some, some of that long yardage there. It's going to be third down and about. Well, well, yep, from the Al 44. Nice job by Powell, though, rolling to his opposite side and stepping up in the pocket. A lot of did a great job getting to an yes. open spot in the field as well. Third and 11 for the Owls, 3.15 to go first quarter. They've been hitching the motion left to right. Roll Powell to his right. Looking, 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 got it complete to Hicks, but he's short of the first down. That time we, we, we ran a rollout to the right, the short side of the field here. We hit... Hicks on about a six-yard out. Going to be fourth down and about, we got so six, Terry. Nine, seven, Maybe four, five. Five, I'm going to call it. Hope the Owls will go for it right here or not. Owls leaving the offense out there. Could be trying to draw going for offside. Fourth and five from the 49. Powell with the hard count. Sends Lida into motion. Still 26 seconds on the play clock. Gordon's will, they're like statues. They're not going to move. And Coach Matt Dyer going to take a timeout. 2.39 to go first quarter, 45 from the Gordonsville 49 when we return. You're listening to the eyeball. 2.39 left, first quarter, no score. Case and one gunner, and I think Colin Johnson. We got, we got some speed at the gunners right now. Hicks punt is away. We killed it. It's a good one. Goes over Climber's head at the five. Takes a sideways kick, going to go out about the one or two yard line. Great. Good job by punt Curry, by too. Perfect punt there by Hicks there, Peyton Hicks, and also a great job by the senior, Bryce Curry, that let the ball bounce to about the one-yard line and then just knocked it out of bounds. Pinning Gordonsville extremely deep, and Gordonsville has been ex ex having an extreme problem running the ball at all, actually moving the ball. It's just the ball on the two, so 98 yards from Pater for the Tigers. Great 47-yard punt, no return by Peyton Hicks, all Britain, up under center this time. No, he goes into the shotgun. He's got Musgrove behind him. They're standing in the end zone. They'll turn, give it to oh. Musgrove, and nothing. Nothing at all. He may have lost yardage back to the one. Yeah, that <laughs> Gorenzel's in a no-win situation right now, trying to run against that huge defensive line there by the Owls there. Got to run over left guard there, and all I saw was big Hobby Gaspar, who is a large human in the way. And that was a sonic sack, just a loss of one. But one more lost yard will be a deuce for the Owls. Second and 11 from the one for the Tigers. Two minutes exactly to go first quarter. Don't jump off sides. That'd be bad right Aub now. Aubrey's up under center. They've got an eye backfield with Greenhall being the fullback. He'll turn, give to Musgrove. Musgrove, nothing. Snowed under for a loss. Well, yeah. maybe no game. Gordonsville just has nothing to run through. Poor Kane and Musgrove trying to find a hole, and it's full of black and gold. See where they spot this. Well, we'll have to call it on the one because it's not a safety. It's no gain for the Tigers. They're facing third and 11. The edge of the ball is on the one-yard line. And in the shotgun is Matthew Albritton, four-year starter for the Tigers. Now he comes. No, no he's going to go. He's got Musgrove behind him. And they fake it. Albritton going to throw it. Oh, it was nearly incomplete. I mean, nearly intercepted. Woo. Oh, now we got a light flag. In, incomplete pass. If this is a penalty against the Owls, it's going to be a killer. Done had a costly personal foul, a costly clip. After the play. Personal foul, Owls, wow. That would have been fourth and 11 from their own one. Another huge penalty. Corey, it's okay to be aggressive, but uh, you got to draw the line somewhere. 
Another first down for Gordonville. They got three first downs and two of them are by Al penalty. You're having your punter is going to have to punt from his own one. He punted it about 29 yards, so we're going to get the ball to the 30-yard line, no worse than probably. But the Owls commit a mistake. A minute left here in the first. They'll turn. They'll give to Musgrove. Musgrove, a little running room. He'll get out to the 20, uh, 18 or 19-yard line, maybe pick up a two. At that time, Musgrove over right guard had a little bit of a seam there. He was brought down, looks like, by number nine, Jameson Keeley, and number 10, Peyton Hicks, from his linebacker position. Give him a gain of two, second eight, inside the final minute here in this first quarter. It's just hard to believe, Terry. You get that penalty right there. Gorns will be punting from the half-yard line. Uh, and all Britain in the shotgun. There's a man in motion. Hands it off to Greer. Greer got a little running room, running over people. He's got first down yard. He's just Bryson Greer. He's a big young man. Yeah, Bryson Greer off, off tackle to the right there. Gets behind one of his blockers and just rides him in for a first down. And it's first and 10 at the 27. Pick up of nine. Albrecht wanted to throw it. Got a guy wide open, Hancock, and he's got first down yardage. Giving a lot of cushion out there, Corey. A lot of cushion there that time. Dalton Hancock, once again, taking advantage of the cushion by the cornerback there. Runs about a 10-yard stop route. Albrecht puts it right on the money. And seven and a half seconds go. They've got it out to the 40. A pickup of 13 for the Tigers. First and 10. Now we've got a whistle. Looks like we had a lot of stoppages in play. Washer has to come out of the game. So number 24, Jermaine Kaysen, entering the game. First cornerback. First and 10 from the 40 for Gordonsville. Howell's penalty kept this drive alive. And that's the final play of the quarter. After one, no score. You're listening to the outball. I think that's Climber over there with him to the left. Now the referee's stopping play once again. Well, minutes on the clock. And Warsher's got to go out. Not sure Kaysen in. I think it's where they've got their knee pads above their knees, not over their knees. Reason they're chasing a lot of people out. All Britain in the shotgun got Greer to his left. 12 minutes on the clock, no score. All Britain sees a man in motion climber, fakes it to him, gets it to Greer, going straight ahead, and Greer's just bullying people with him. He's got about a six-yard gain. You know, we really thought the Owls would do that. straight ahead running, but we that's not been the case thus far. Greer's been a big spark for Gordonsville on his last two carries. Picks up six right there. Picks up second and four. Gordonsville no huddle from their own 44. All Britain rose his left, looking to throw, looking to throw. Tucks it down. Got some running room. Got first down yardage into Owls territory. Before uh, Curry stopped him. Yeah, nice job by Albright. That time rolls to the left. He gets a lot of penetration from number nine, Jameson Keeley. Has to cut up inside him and gets first down yardage for Gordonville, who's now crossed into Smith County territory. It's the Al 48, eight yard pickup for Albright and the senior quarterback. Albright looks to throw it, does complete. Looks like there's a flag back here where holding. They got it out to Hancock. He got about nine, but. I'm going to assume holding on that there. He had a lot of time. Yeah, most of the time where the referee threw that white flag. That's where it is. It's sitting at the line of scrimmage at 48. Let's see. Holding Gordon. Yeah. Uh, Albritton dropped back to pass that time. Cornerback did a nice job there. Receiver set on, kind of set on the route there, so Albritton held on the ball a little bit longer, which normally leads to holding, which that is the case this time. So Gordon's going to cross back over to their side of the field. First and 20 from their own 42. No score from here in Carthage. You just kind of feel like the wind has been taken out of you a little bit with yeah. these crucial penalties. Part of those are undisciplined. What, that's what's so up with what? veteran players doing those. That's what's frustrating. 11 6 to go, second quarter, no score. All Britain in the shotgun. Thanks, coverage. They'll send a man in the motion climber. Take him the ball, get it straight ahead. Nothing. Ooh. Absolutely nothing. He just mowed down. That was number four. Owls lose a helmet to Gaspar, and that was uh, Schaefer, Austin Schaefer, with the 
uh, Kerry. He is a senior. For Austin Schaefer, 5'11", 175, ran into uh, Javi Gaspar. Uh, on here it says 6'2", 350. And that was a sonic sack, one-yard loss. Second and 19 from the, I'm sorry, second and 21 from the 41. All Britain in shotgun, 10, 20 to go. Second quarter, All Britain surveys the, uh, looks like Stephen Jackson signaling the play. Oh, that's got to be motion. <laughs> Looked like arena football there, of course. Yeah, it did. Everybody moved on the field but the center. He yeah. forgot to snap it, Terry. Some of the line numbers still still, but all the uh, specialty people. Five yards in fraction. Brings up second and 26 from their own 36 for the Tigers. So penalty bug bat, biting the Tigers this drive. All Britain in shotgun, 9.59 to go, rolls to his right. He's some pressure from Keeley. Going deep, he's got a guy, but it's over his head, and Keelando Harris got a left mid on it, but that was it. Incomplete pass, sets up third and 46. At that time, Gorn will send two receivers downfield right here in front of Terry and I on the home sideline. Ball was overthrown and batted down by number six, the safety, Keelando Harris. Third and 26 from 36. Big thing here, Corey. Just don't commit a penalty. Yeah, don't get, don't do right. anything. Don't let anybody Seriously. behind you do not. <laughs> We've got Rigsby and Harris as our two safeties. Al's only rushing three. They've got six linebackers. Yeah, but those three can probably get there. All Britain hands it off straight ahead to Musgrove. He's got a little room. He's got more room. And Jay Phillips finally pins him about the 46 of the Al. I mean, 14 got up and started pushing the, the Al defender who made the tackle. Wow. You're going... And let's see, it's going to be fourth at the 46, 18-yard run. So that sets up. They're going for it. Fourth and eight. They are going through it, and it's incomplete. Wide open. Gorsville goes for it there on fourth down. Had two receivers split to the left. The inside receiver, number 34, uh, Adam. who is Adam, Eli Adams, Ran like a little dig route down the middle. He Kyle was, Adams, 34, not 33. 34, Kyle Adams I, right. is correct. He was wide open. Actually, the ball was thrown behind him. So, Terry, Gordonsville tried to sneak up on us there and go for it there real quickly on fourth down. Al's going to get great field position after a long defensive possession. Go ahead. Lish Contracting says, go Al. Trust Lish Contracting to build your new custom dream home. Please call 615 489 Two, one, six, six. No score. Nine eighteen to go. Second quarter. Al, he'll hand to Curry. Curry's got a little run room out to maybe the 48, 49 yard line. Al's not getting a lot of push. Not a lot of push there from the Al's offensive line. We got a lot of meat up there. Just needs to push them back. And let's see him again. A three, second and seven. At time their own 49. Curry over left tackle that time and kind of moved the pile and fell forward to get a. Gain of three, but yeah, Terry, I'm like you. These big boys up front get moving and push on that defensive line of Gordonsville. I'll be able to create some big holes for the Owls running back. Owls have hit or hit lip right. Powell in the shotgun, Curry to his left. Looking to the sideline for the play call is Powell. He'll turn, fakes it, he got it. Running straight ahead into Gordonsville territory somewhere around the 46 yard line. Goes Caden Powell. So pick up of about five, sets up third and two. Nice job by freshman Caden Powell there on the keeper. He got outside containment to the left, lowered his head. And, of course, he is a big fella, especially for a freshman. He's about 6'3", 232 is what he's listed as. And he gets that body moving. He moves the going for Powell. It's going to be third down and kind of short here for the out. Third and two, you would think probably four down territory here for Coach Matt Dyer with eight minutes to go here in this first quarter. No score, 757, as we said. And clock counting. Owls have got Braxton Thursday at center. So turn, fake the foul. No, he gives it to, uh, was that Hicks? And yes. I think it's got first down yardage about the 42, 43 yard line. Yeah, that time just a shotgun snap there. We had two backs in the backfield. Hicks was the back on the right of foul. Handed, handed to Hicks running right to left over left guard there, left tackle. He got right in behind big Dane Woodard and Ty Martin. 
and got a first down for the Owls as they move into Gordonsville territory. 42-yard line, pick up a four. I think that's the Owls' first first down of the game. I'll have to look back. I'm pretty sure of that. Yep, Owls take two, three and out. It's in a man in motion, which is Bush. They'll turn, coming back to the left side. Hicks, he's got some running room. Breaks two, a couple of tackles, making people miss. He's got first down yardage. Nice job there by 32. We'll see. Nice job there by Peyton Hicks that time. He runs to the short side of the field and kind of makes a defender miss right at the sideline. Then he paints the sideline going up it. He gets knocked out of bounds. They may have to bring the chains on here, Corey. That's, that's too close. I don't think. Nope. Now, I judge. He's second and very short. Juking back and forth. He's his first down out. So, Hicks gets 10 on first down. That was a nice job. Nimble feet there by Hicks on the home sideline. There's the tiptoed up and down the sideline. First and 10 at the Gordonsville 32. Deepest, deepest penetration of the night for the Owls. 7.18 to go open the quarter. Clock moving. I'm sorry. Yeah, clock moving. They'll turn. Give it to Curry. Curry. He got outside. Outside, but oh. Greer horse collared him down. Wow. No call. Matt Dyer is going nuts. He drug him down by the back of his neck. I mean, by the and they didn't call nothing. Wow, Curry got outside containment to the right there, and pretty blatant horse collar there to the point where I was just assuming it was a horse collar, and no flag on the play. Wow. Loss of one. I don't know. You don't think what, that don't make a difference. I don't know what a horse collar would be if that, if that's not one. Well, that's kind of textbook. You were trying to teach young referees that's exactly what it'd be. 639, second 11 from the 33. Well, the... the uh, Penalties have hurt us in the lack of one being called. There could be a wow. for the drive. Powell with it. Turns, gets to Curry. Curry, a little running room. He'll get it to about the 30. Pick up a three. Pick up third and eight. The left tackle lowers his shoulder and just gets all he can. And it's to the 30. Let's see. Yep, they'll fit his 30. Pick up third and eight. Man, missed. Al's got a big, big third down and eight right here, Terry, especially after the missed call there. Third and eight from the 30. No score, 554 to go here in this second quarter. They'll flip Warsher and Lida to the left. Powell has to his right, Johnson, to his left, Curry. Gordon's will eight. Well, four we man could, front. We could get open deep. And... Somebody called timeout. I saw Coach Dyer running down the sideline. Let's see if it was. Just counting. 534 to go second quarter. We got a timeout. You listen to see how about Sit to left is Warsher and Lida. Coach Powell signals in the play. They'll turn. They'll give it to Johnson. Johnson moving straight ahead. Got a little run room. Got about half of that. Probably four down to 26. Yeah, nice job by Kylan Johnson being very patient as he ran off right tackle there and waited for a lane to create. He lowered his head, made a nice shifty move there, to make it fourth down, and we let's say carry four. Three, let's call it a three because they got given to the 25 yard line. Oh, Al's going for it. Sending uh, Jake White into the lineup. Of course, his granddad. Scotty Yeaman, longtime broadcaster and coach here and principal at Smith County High. Very good time for a hard count. Yep. Let's see what Powell does here. Fourth and three. Nobody did. 25. They'll fake it. Powell keeps it. Not going anywhere. Trying to break tackles, but he's going nowhere and snows for a loss. Number 75, Ford Gordon. Well, that's Drew Agee. And Powell loses yardage. Gordon's will Sold out for the run, Corey. They had nobody. Nobody did. Deep. Nobody. No safety. No over-the-top help at all. Powell tried to keep it and get outside containment to the left. He could not get there. And then he tried to come back to the middle of the field where more Gordonsville defenders were and loss of yardage. Lost five. First and ten from the 30 for the Tigers. Four and a half minutes ago. 433, in fact, in this opening half. No score. All Britain in the shotgun once again. He'll turn, roll to his right, looking, 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 get a little pressure by Curry, and then he'll just smartly throw it into the Al sideline. Yeah, nice job by Albritton. Of course, he's been playing quarterback for four years for the Gordonsville Tigers. He rolls to his right, 
And instead of taking a sack at the last second, he throws it over here in the stand. Smart play by the senior quarterback for Gordonville. Second and 10 from the 30. Clock seal, 426 to go second quarter. Albritton in the shotgun. He has behind him Austin Schaefer, senior running back. He'll turn. Nope. Busted Don't play. The Schaefer, but nobody there, so Albritton just eats it and got probably close to the line of screen. That time a busted play, Albritton got the, snot, the shotgun snap, went to his right. Schaefer went left, so good. that's a recipe for disaster there. I've done that a couple times, so Albritton had to basically just fall on it. Third and ten from the 30 and a half, third and nine and a half, actually, but we're going to say no gain on the play. Four minutes exactly, yo. Now here comes Lawler out. And coming in for him, Ethan Major, the junior. Fourth and I'm these kids are putting knee pads in. I don't know. And pull, pull your that come. Uh, yeah, so pull hey, them down over your knees. They were pointing to his knees right then, so it's the knee pad. That's correct. It's Scott Eaton's our spotter told us. Third and ten from the thirty. Four uh, seconds on the shot clock. They'll get it. Albritton looking to throw it. Dusty Gentry, but Gentry spins out of a tackle, but he's not going to get first down yardage. That time they run it, try to run a wide receiver screen there with Gentry. He breaks loose of the first Al defender, but Curry was able to come over from his linebacker position and knock him down for a minimal gain there for Gordonville. Looks like the punt team, I'm assuming, is coming onto the field. They are. It's up a five. That's up fourth and five with 3.08 to go here in this scoreless first half. Nice breeze there, Terry, especially for a yeah, Gordonville Smith County game. I would watch a hard count. Don't do anything stupid here. Greer to punt for the Tigers. Snap is good. Punt is away. It's a spiral away we from the Johnson. Get a return. Picks it up at the 26. He's back up to the 35, to the 40. To the 47-yard line goes Kyle and Johnson. It was a direct punt. Yeah, very low, direct punt like Terry mentioned. Kyle and Johnson got it on the run. He knew exactly where he was going towards the visitor sideline. Gets the ball almost to midfield with two minutes and 41 seconds here in the second quarter with the score tied 0-0. Zero to zero. Corey, go ahead. The Smith County Drug Prevention Coalition wants to remind you that tobacco kills more people than alcohol. Car crashes, illegal drugs, murders, or suicides. Please commit to success and don't start. 21-yard pickup on that return, Corey. Okay, he knew where he was going right when he got it. A nice job by Johnson here. Ball almost already to midfield. Call it the call that the 48. So let's give him 22 instead of 21 on that return. First and 10 from that point. They fake it. Kyle Rose look trying to get it away. Nice job. Throws it away. Try to get to Bush, but it's incomplete. A very heady play by the freshman quarterback Caden Powell. Rolls to his left has number seven Will Dudney and number five Rising Greer right in his face. Somehow gets a loose one of them. Long and gets away of, from one of them long enough to throw the ball out of bounds and prevent a sack. Alice had a receiver open had they given Powell enough time to throw it. 2.33 to go, first half a play. No score from here in Carthage. And here's coming to the left, Clayton Ritchie and Bush. Hicks in a slot to the right. Powell looking. Getting a call from his dad as far as the play call. Picking the lead in. And Powell gets it out there to Rixby, and Rixby's got about four yards, and that's it. That time Powell gets the ball immediately and throws it to his had two receivers split to the left. Rigsby being the far one, throws it directly to him. He gets about, I don't know, four yards there to cross midfield. Call it three, and that's going to set up third and seven from the Tiger 49 with 210 to go. Clark County in this first half. Phillips in there along with Hicks. I see Lida, I see Warsher, and Curry is a running back. Looks like Lawler is tied in on the right side. Powell takes the throw. Gordon will get it. Lida's over. Lida's over. And Powell spins out and throws it. Complete! That's Hicks. He's loose, but we're going yep, to get a clip. Hicks is all the way down to 20. But that should be a first down. First down. Let's see. A lot going on on that play. We had Caden Powell roll to the right. He barely got away from one of Gordonsville's defenders. And that time, as he's going down, makes a great 
throw the ball. To Higgs. A great throw. I don't know that we're going to have first down, Corey. Of course, it's still going to be third down. See, the, the flag is back at the 34, so we'll go back to the 44 and set up a 32, I think. Let's see. And as I was saying, as, as Powell somehow got away from the Gornsville defender, he made a long throw to the sideline, which was caught. But then we had a other wide receiver w without the ball come back and make a clip to try to get to spring our receiver Hicks open, and that time they called it. Flags flew everywhere, and I think Terry is going to be maybe correct with your assessment. The legal block out. That's the ball down, please. Third down. Now the referee's just... And he sets it at the 44. Legal block sets up the Owls with a third and two from the Gordon Bowl 44. Minute 38 to go. Was a fantastic play, though, from the freshman quarterback to get that ball in the hands of Higgs. Third and two from the 44. They'll turn, hand to Curry. Curry got first down yard. He's running over the 40. People. About the 38-yard line goes Curry first down, a minute 23 to go first quarter. Yeah, that time Bryce Curry running mad, the senior did. Runs over left tackle there. He probably got hit somewhere around the first down marker, and he just went right through a couple of going for defenders. First and 10 at the Tiger 38 after a six-yard run. They'll turn. Powell wants to throw it. Complete the light of minimal game. They, that's yep. that's got to be a, a, a penalty. They just reached the face mask and poured Lida yeah. helped off. Yeah, that time Lida inside receiver to the left run an intermediate at in route. Cal put Caden Powell put it right on the money as he gets hit by a host of Gordon's with appearance as he's going down, like Terry mentioned, face mask basically just gets reached in there and ripped off completely. That was a six yard game. And you know, Terry, we've mentioned costly penalties. That is really the first costly well, penalty on Gordon. We've got to see a uh, referee's talking about it. It scares me when they do that. A minute ten to go second quarter, no score. Pretty blatant, Terry, on yeah, that. It's got to be a first down. I guess they may just gush if it's a five yard incidental or. He's still walking. Personal foul, face mask, Tigers. Howell's first down. 70 seconds to go. So the penalty is going to move it to the 17 yard line, 15 yard step off against the Tigers. First and 10 Owls from that point. Of course, Gaspard can. Kick field goal. Did that four or five times a year ago. I thought we put it in the end zone, Terry. First and ten from the 17. Minute ten left in this first half. We got Jimmy Ink at a right guard. Powell rolls to his right. Tucks it and runs. Got some running room. He got the end zone. Touchdown for the freshman. 59 seconds to go here. 58.9. Go Daniel South, slow and getting up, but the Owls have got six. That time, Cade Powell rolls to his right, had three receivers kind of running a flood route, and he looks back to his left, makes a juke move right to left, shakes the Gordonsville defender, and then it's nothing but pay dirt as he outruns the rest of the Gordonsville defense into the left corner of the end zone. Give him six, first touchdown the season for the Owls. Comes with 58.9 seconds to play in this opening half a play. Well, the Owls have done something they hadn't done in the last few years, and that's score a point. <laughs> Correct. And Lida will hold Gaspar's attempt. These are crucial. PAT upcoming. Drive forward. Gaspar kick looks good. It is good. Owls lead 7-0. You're listening to Owls. AM 1350. 58.9. Gaspar will kick it for the Owls. Drives forward. Nice kick. Nice boot. Musgrove on the run at the 15. Up to 20, 25. Got some running room out to the 37. Dragon oh. house with him. Gaspar said no more. Yeah. Well, that was a fantastic return by number 32, Kanan Musgrove. And he gets about the 40-yard line, tries to get to the 42, and he runs into the kicker, Hobby Gaspar, who is the biggest human on the field, and the pile went directly back. Well, besides Dane Woodard, 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 you're right. First and 10 for the Tigers. They've got great field position out to the 42. That's a 27 yard return. 50.1 seconds left. All Britain in shotgun. Al's only a three-man rush. 
Albright looking, going to throw it. Got it complete out to Hancock. Al's giving big cushion again. Hancock's got first down yardage in two out territory. That time, Hancock, there had at least three receptions I know of that Hancock has ran. He's ran an out route, had a lot of cushion, had plenty of time to catch the ball easily. He's got it to Al 47 and he's a pickup of 11. It's much too easy. And he stopped the clock. Now Albrecht rolls to his left. Keely, Keely here he comes. Pressure. Keely got pressure. He got it complete to Hancock. Hancock this time knocked down by Warsaw. And that's going to be a sonic sack. That time Albrecht tried to roll to his left. Then he had to come all the way back to his right to get away from Keely and threw a dump down pass for uh, Lawson. That's a sonic sack. Timeout Gordon with 27.2 seconds to go in the first half. Al's up. 7 nothing. you're listening to Alba. Second 8 from the Al 45. Albert in shotgun. 27.2 left. How's a trail by 7? They fake it. Only a three-man rush. Looking, looking, looking. Nearly in, uh, intercepted, but Warsaw knocks it away. Had a little stop and go to Hancock, but nothing but, there. Terry, the reason that was covered so well, they tried to stop and go to Hancock, who's had a nice first half, but we had over-the-top help from the safety there, so Warsaw, the corner, was able to be more aggressive and he really, Albert really threw into double coverage. Third and eight from the 45 for the Tigers. Only 22.2 seconds go in this first half. You would think if you hold them to no gain here, you'd force them to punt. But who knows? Coach Matt Dyer says, I'm going to talk about it. Timeout Owls up 7 nothing. Corey, you got any more reads? Owls only a three-man front trying to get pressure with Gaspar, Ty Martin, and Jameson Keeley. Dropping eight in coverage. The turn gives it to Musgrove, and he's got first down yardage. Uh, or close fumble. To it. Ball's loose. They say the Owls have got it. Beanbag comes in. Who recovered it? Ty Martin's got it. Yeah. Owl ball. Owl ball. That time, Gordon tried to mix it up there and run a little delayed draw there. Musgrove did a nice job running hard. Tried to get some extra yardage to get to the first down marker, and it was punched loose by Al Defender. Not sure who punched it loose, but I do know it came up with number 50. Ty Martin came up with the ball. Top of the Gordon will drive. 9.5 seconds left in this first half. I'd say we see a knee and go to the house. Ball sitting on the 38-yard line. Now they have a first down, two, three and outs in their initial series. They've got the ball moving there in the second quarter. Musgrove picked up seven before having it punched out. Looks like we're running a play. Got Powell, got trip receivers to right. Gordon has got three players extremely deep. In For the first time. Adams, Gentry, uh, Jay Foster, and Clymer. They're back probably 20 yards. Yeah, Gordon's got two rows of people basically. Got four in the back, kind of in a straight line, about 20 yards off the ball. Trippery Shane Qualls. Side judge on the outside line, former Cleveland coach. Yeah, it'd be, and they're going to say 12 seconds. It'd be easy to run a deep out here if you want to get in to Hail Mary range. Extremely easy. Twelve seconds left, and did somebody call timeout? Let's see. Timeout, Gordonville. So the Owls take a timeout. Gordon will take one. We'll take one, two. Ten and a half. Now it's ever reset that to 12, I would say. Seconds left in the first half. Owls up 7 nothing. You're listening to Owls. Owls lead 7 nothing. They'll have it first and 10 at their own 38-yard line. I don't expect us to get too frisky here, Corey. With 12 one, seconds, I would. One timeout left. Owl. Turn. And to Curry. Curry out to about the 40-yard line, and that's it. Two-yard game. This court will cause their last time out. They're not. It's going to go to halftime. I'll beat it 7 0 in half. You're listening to Alvon. WRKM Carthage. WUCZ Carthage. And it'll be Gordon to kick off the man kicking off is Gavin Holston. He's a senior. He boots it deep. It's uh, picked up by the Owls, chasing at 15 out to 20, 25 along the Gordon's sideline. Gets a little, not a lot. That time, nice kick there from number 31, like Terry mentioned, uh, Gavin Huddleston. Senior kick it deep left. Kaysen picked it up on the bounce. 
and really had nowhere to go but up the visitor's sidelines there and got all he could to about the 29-yard line. Call it Maybe a, 28. Call it the 20. No, let's call it 29. That's a good call. Before we we, we had, uh, he was always the goal line. He had to run up yeah. 15 yards before he got to it. Oh, Al's leading 7 nothing. Early moment of this third quarter. Of course, he's had two turnovers this far. A fumble and a pass interception. First and 10, 29 for Smith County. They've got Powell in the shotgun. He is like he is Curry. Curry, give it to Curry. Curry, a little run run. He's got room. 40, 45, great hey, people baby. with him. He fumbled. I think Forsman got it back. No, the Owls got it back. Out uh, to 49. That time, Bryce Curry ran through a massive hole there created on the left side live from Dane Woodard and I think Ty Martin and Terry when he got going north and south no Gordonsville defender was going to bring him down as he trounced several Gordonsville defenders on his way almost to midfield call it midfield first and 10 from the 50 for the Owls first play a 21 yard gallop by Curry Owls have Al in the shotgun freshman quarterback takes Curry throws it out Wide to Lada, Lada gets five to the 45. So pick up all five for Johnny Lada. That time, two receivers split to the left, 22 Jake White. Inside receiver was Johnny Lada. He runs a five yard stop. It was nice timing from the freshman pal to the senior Lada on the completion. And Terry, looks like they're going to give him an extra yard. He's going to call it a gain of six. Oh, yes. Yeah. At the 45. Al's come out very balanced. One run, run one pass. Plus six. Second and four at the 44. You know Matt Dyer loves that. <laughs> That's a favorable down and distance on second down. Fakes it Curry, hands it back to Hick. He's got room. Room, room to 40. Inside, right at the 35-yard line, goes Peyton Hick. He's had a big um, game running the football. Boy. Yeah, nice little wrinkle offensively there. Started in the backfield with Curry, handed to Curry. He runs to his right, hands it back. Got an extremely late flag. Balls at the 35. That was a nine-yard pickup. Dead ball. Unfortunately, out contact. This county. Wow. Another huge penalty. As I was saying, though, we had a little slice play there. Went from Curry, handed it back to Hicks, coming to his left. Hicks makes a nice move over left tackle there. Owls, once again, have a costly personal foul. No, really, unfortunate I mean, conduct. Unfortunate yeah. conduct. Unacceptable penalty. That's uh, Close to four major penalties already. Moves it back to midfield. It is first and ten at that point. Got to show some discipline. Wow. First and ten from midfield. 10 38, go third quarter. Al's up 7 nothing. Al's trying to drive to get a two score advantage. Two receivers split to the right, Terry, pretty much on an island with the, cor with yep, the nope, secondary. Nobody's deep. They'll turn and give it to Hicks. Hicks makes a cut. Gets Ooh, runs over. over. It just lowered his head and zoomed wow. ahead for maybe four. Let's see where they mark it. At the 46, pick up a four, sets up second, and Hicks. Hicks comes off the field very gingerly. That time, though, he literally ran over one of the linebackers for Gorenville and carried him about four yards. I think six at the Tiger 46. Jake White runs into play from Coach Keith Powell. He was the defensive coordinator for Beach when they won their first state championship under Anthony Crabtree, former York player. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Bryce Curry looking to the sideline. Still 14 seconds on the play clock. And they'll just run straight ahead with Powell. He got running room. Oh, and over people down in the of the 35 gold pile that was just a quarterback power and he booms ahead Caden Powell that time on the quarterback power which we mentioned at halftime I mean let's just be honest when you've got a freshman quarterback about 6'3 230 235 uh, hard not to run with him some that time he gets in the secondary and run, runs right over the top of the safety 12 yard pickup for Powell I'm sure that's not the last time we'll see that play as effective as it was First and 10 at the Gordonville 34. They'll turn and give it to Johnson. Johnson got maybe three to 31. That time Johnson running right to the left. 
tries to get loose but gets tackled on, I think, number five, Bryson Greer, who peeled back to tackle him as he was cutting upfield. But still, positive yardage on first down for the Owls. Greer and Dudley, just two outstanding Very, defensive ends for Gordonville. And especially 1A football, hard to find, I'd say, two better defensive ends. I, I bet you could. I don't know that both could not attain all-state status. Mm-hmm. They're that good. Greer's really uh, bulked up. And he's always been big, but he's 6'4", 230 now. And Dudley right. is like a tree. Right. Second and seven at the Gordonville 31. They'll turn. Gives it Johnson. Johnson shorting his way through. Gets stood up. Gets a push. Gets more push. Gets more push. And he gets down close to the 24-yard line. He's close to first down yardage. And that time there by Johnson, that time he gets behind his big lineman and he gets stood up for a second. And then the linemen start pushing. And then the pile starts moving. And there was down. Yeah, and there was no no whistle blown. So first down for the Owls with that extra push there. First and 10 at the Gordonville 24-yard line. Owls on the move on their initial drive of the third quarter. Lead it 7 nothing. 8.22 to go there in. A couple of running backs. They'll send Lada into motion. Powell turns, hands to Keeley. Keeley got some running room, dragging people with him. And he's got several yards. Jay Foster wrestling, trying to do all he could. But Keeley was in our offensive and defensive line a year ago. Now I'm talking the mail. That's not, that's not fair, Terry, right there. All-state defensive tackle that time. On the carry, bounces outside containment to the left. Probably should have been hit for about a one- to two-yard gain. Then he just roll, runs through that Gordonsville defender and gets corralled down five yards down the field. It'll be second and five here as the Owls enter into the red zone. Caught second and four at the 18. Powell turns and straight ahead to Keeley. Keeley. As Dudney tries to wrestle the ball away, he may got to the 16 to pick up a two. That time, they give it to Keeley to the right. He tries to off-right tackle this time behind Joe Daniel South there. Didn't have as much success, but it is going to be third down and short, which I am sure is fourth down territory. Third and two from the 16 of Gordonville. Owls up 7-0, trying to break a two-game losing streak. Gordonville has won two games in a row here. They've won three of the last four in this matchup. 7-10 to go third quarter. Powell has Johnson to his left. Now look, Keeley at a tight end to the left. Curry settles back into the backfield. Eight seconds to go on the play clock. They'll turn. Powell just going straight ahead. He's got, got room. close to a touchdown. He has a touchdown. Al Freshman into the end zone for six. His second score. Uh, Terry, that's pretty simple right there. He ran quarterback power with the freshman Cage Powell. And all it was was a sprint to the corner of the end zone. There was no outside containment from Gordonville's defense. So it was a foot race, which the freshman will run one as he runs into the corner of the end zone. Yeah, for the second time. Yeah, but block by Dane Morton. Yes, he just <laughs> sealed the whole side. They walled them all. That was like the wall of China. Completely sealed the entire Gordonville defensive line on the right side there as Powell goes untouched into the same end zone in the same corner for his second score of the night. That's up. A PAT kick Gaspar will attempt. 6.51 to go here in this third quarter. Owls have a two-score advantage. Gordon will jump in the round. Light of the holder. Snap is good. Gaspar kick is low and off the left. No good. Owls lead it 13 nothing. You're listening to Eyeball. <laughs> Extreme. I thought the first one was slow that we hit. Gaspar right. drives forward. Boots it. Big a kick. Good kick to Just Adams at the 12. Adams got a little running room. And he got walled down there by Evan. That time Adams catches it deep left. He runs right to the middle of the field. Goes hash to the middle. That time he was tackled by number 31, like Terry mentioned, and that was Jaden Evans. Jayden Evans. First and 10, that's the 36. So we'll pick up uh, 22 for Kyle uh, Adams. Of course, we're in the shotgun. Trading 13 nothing. All Britain moves a couple people left to right. Overload to left. Musgrove going left. Musgrove no, moves nothing. Good gracious. Keeley and Gaspar said not much. Fumble! They say, Fumble, Isles got it! That's who comes out of the pile. Musgrove is down 
I'm sorry, I did not see who got that fumble. Let's go toss it up. Third turnover for the Tigers tonight. And unfortunately, must go with them. Corey, go ahead. They, they really had their way the last drive. They'll fake it. Double move. Powell wants to go deep and going to be sacked. Tries to throw it to Curry. That's an incomplete pass. That's an incomplete pass. He did a good job of avoiding the loss. That's a great job. That time Powell rolls to his left. He continues to buy time, continues to buy time, trying to get the ball to Johnny Lida going on a double move deep. He could not get loose. Looked like he was about to get sacked, and somehow got the ball away in the direction of Bryce Curry, which has saved us a massive loss. Curry, it's probably been a mm, ten yard, ten yard loss at least. Uh, sets up second and ten from the 36. And you think four down territory, being where they are on the field, if it comes to that. How? In the shotgun to his right, Curry turns, hands it to him, gives it back to Hicks, and this time, Price and Greer followed him and says, uh, nothing going. Absolutely a blown coverage on that one. We run the slice play, Curry to the left, gave it back to Hicks to the right, and somebody well, did not Greer, touch but, but Greer. But what I'm saying is, Corey, he's that backside at defensive end, and he ran so hard, I don't know that he doesn't have a cramp. And he is down with a cramp, looks like in his left leg. 5.55 to go third quarter. Al's up 13 nothing. You're listening to Al. I can tell you exactly what one was. Uh, 98. Third and 12 from the Tiger 38. Powell turns. Hands to Johnson. Johnson's got some running room. Al's made go for it from there. He's down about the 30. Probably gets up a uh, 44. We'll see where this spot is. And... Now we've got a flag. I, I'm Hobby sorry. Down. Hobby Gaspar is down. Eight yard pickup, fourth and four. We'll take another injury timeout. Al Fleet 13 nothing. 538 to go in the third. You're listening to the top off. Al in the shotgun. Shifts a couple of players to his left. Blitz the Gordon's way. Well, he goes around right in. And he's got a score. He is wafting in the end zone. It's the Tennessee Wild for the freshman. His third touchdown. Give him six on a 30 yard. Bootleg. Wow, right there was the Peyton Manning. All you UT fans will love that. Naked bootleg. We, we overload the left side. We fake it to Kylan Johnson to the left. When Powell pulls it to the right, he's basically all by himself already. Absolutely no containment from the Gordonville Tigers. And he just sprints. Could have probably backpedaled into the end zone as the Owls go on top. 19 to nothing. PAT pending. And Powell now runs into the other corner of the same end zone. Al with 519 to go in the third, take a three score advantage. Great play call there. Fantastic play call. Got the flow going. Gordon will bring in the house. And slanting. Right. To the wide side of the field. He pulls it and uh, not with power speed, but to be the size he is, Corey. Make it move. Got unfortunate light contest against Smith County. So I guess that'll be a 15 yard mark off on it. The kickoff. I tell you what, film day is going to be rough hey, on I'm Monday. Say, be five or six 15 yard penalties that Al's have occurred, or incurred, I should say. Of course, you just got to be smarter than that. I agree. Hard to believe that it's been one sided on them because I've been in this rivalry. I played in it several times, and man, it, it was always tipping back and forth. But the Gorns was credit. They have not received one yet. 15 yard penalty. They'll assess that against the kickoff. So the Owls will be kicking from their own uh, 25, I think. You know, the referees are talking. Of course, the one thing about that, Corey, you occur two of these, you're, you're out for the rest of this game and the next game. Something you better just keep your mouth shut. I mean, there's no, you know, no, you don't have to play except you make a tackle. Everybody sees that. Well, now they're going over to ask Stephen Jackson if he wants to do it maybe on the PAT or on the kickoff. We'll just have to wait to see. They're going to, they're going to take it on the extra PAT. point. So Gaspar will have to get, get a 35-yarder Boy, it would hurt. versus a 20-yarder. Boy, that would hurt if they happen to hit the – if we happen to – Big Al's happen to somehow convert this. 
519. Of course, the one thing with uh, the field position, you're going to maybe cost yourself some, but I guess they're wanting to keep that score at 19 versus getting it too clean. Al is in the shotgun. The Owls have the offense back out there now instead of the kicking team. Two-point conversion. Al's trying to take a 21 nothing lead. Al looks. low to his right. Got pressure. Throws it. It's dropped. Nearly picked by Payne, but he dropped his pass and failed. Even if he caught it, can't advance it. So it's 19 nothing out. You're listening to Alpha. Hicks going to kick off instead of Gaspar. Hicks strides forward, boots it off the side of his leg, and goes out of bounds. Right about the 43 yard line. Hicks saying, My bad. I think Gordon can take it right there. And he said it's at the 44, so it's going to give Gordon an excellent field position. And let's see. see where they mark the ball. And they do mark off, and they mark off five yards out of bounds. Wow. Scores will cut the field in half immediately. This is at the 50 first and 10. Trailing 19 nothing. Of course, this train is not over. Scores will got a lethal passing attack. I've not seen the go. They'll hand it straight ahead and Schaefer's got running room. He's got about eight. Flying straight ahead. Yeah, that was a nice run there by number four, Austin Schaefer, senior 5'11", 175 running back. Uh, Rigsby had to come up from his safety position, knock him down after a gain of eight. Nice hole there created by the right side of Gornsville's offensive line as well. Second and two, they get to Schaefer nope. once again, and Keeley says, nope, he didn't get anything. There's another flag. I think the Owls have got another unsportsmanlike. Corey, that's got to get better. You've got to eliminate that, period. Point blank. If you're going to be a very good football team, you've got to be disciplined. We haven't been very disciplined. Let's yeah. see if that goes against Gordon no, it ain't. Smith County. I think it goes against the Owls. I think it's against the black and gold. Looks easily. like a takedown after the play. Ball carrier's already on the ground, and they're five, six feet from the play. Extracurricular activity, Owls. And That's a six or seven wow. They're going over 100 yards in flags tonight. Ball sitting at the 42. So I'm not going to mention the offender, but they're going to take him out. Matt Dyer has got to be incensed at his team. Uh, it would be hard for me not to call a timeout. Just absolutely explode. Oh, that's a 42. Let's see if it's offsetting or... Offsetting. Uh, they're going to say, okay, no game. Sets up, third and two. For the Tigers, you know they're going to go for it if they don't get it here on third down. So you have to be careful right here for them to try to sneak one deep. Musgrove is out. Schaefer in there. Third and two, it's Al 42. Al's a five-man front. Snap is low. He gets it to Schaefer. He's got first down yardage. Keeley tackles him about the 39, but Schaefer's got three yards. Another flag. Oh, this one might be on white. It's possible. Yes, the Tigers will see. It's from their body language, it looks like we got a It'll be first and 10 line. from 39. This time, unsportsmanlike conduct. Gordon's our first and foul. It should be first and ten, however, because it was a dead ball. Schaefer got down to first down yardage at the 40. The side judge on the Gordonville sideline telling them that. It will be to the 40, a two-yard run for Schaefer. And then we'll go back the other way, personal foul, Gordonville, 15. Going for fortunate to get that first down because that could have been extremely costly. Uh, all goes back to the 45 of the Owls. First and 10 at that point for the Tigers. Trading 19 0 with 4.23 to go here in this uh, third quarter. Ryan Martin in a defensive end for the Owls in a five man front. Dane Woodard at nose guard. 
first and 10 for 45. All Britain with it. One receiver out. They'll turn, give it to Adams. Sweeping around right in. Adams got a little running room, gets to the 40. And that's the, or the 50, I'm sorry. That's a gain of five. That's up, second five. Well, we got so much extracurricular activity going on after every play. Curry that time got hurt after the play. Second five at the 50. And go ahead, Corey. Got another delay as uh, Alza got his band down, and guess what? Now we've got another flag. Not sure who said that one, but it's come right in the middle of the owl. Huddle. I don't know exactly who said that one, but like Washport Express, located at 51 Dixon Springs Highway in Carthage, is a proud supporter of local athletes. First to 10 to Al 35, Gordon for another first down due to our penalty. Uh, four or five of those have happened. All you're doing is giving them hope. First 10 at the Al 35 for Gordon for all Britain. Then your quarterback in the shotgun, Schaefer behind him, the running back. Musgrove went out with an injury, has not returned. That was on the first Georgia offensive play. Albritt looking to go deep, throwing it. He's got a guy there, gets him. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. That's a nice throw there from Albritt and hitting number 15, Brady Gentry, on a post route in between two Al defenders. So the penalty proves costly for the Owls as Gordonville punched it into the end zone for the first time tonight. 359 to go here in this one. And Gordonville down 196. Like we said, Corey, you just keep getting them chances, keep getting them chances, keep getting them chances. And now it looks like they're gonna kind of go for the PAT. That kick looks good. And it is good. That was Gavin Wilson with the PAT, 197 7 Owls. You're listening to Owl Ball. Payson needs to come up. He's back at the 9. He's been kicking at about the 20. Austin tried up, forward up, with up. the pooch, and it's the 20. And that's Kilando Harris, oh. and he gets hit hard by number 75 through 80. excited over there. Yeah, Keelando Harris that time, he was in the second row from the back. He had to retreat to catch the ball, tried to get up the Gordonville sideline, and he got absolutely rocked by a Gordonville defender. This is Drew Agee, of course, his dad Butch, the um, athletic director over at Gordonville. Picked up 10 yards, did the out. The momentum, momentum has definitely shifted. shifted to the Tigers. First and 10 at their own 30. Al's up 19-7. They've got Powell to his right. I think it's Curry. Nope, it's Johnson. They'll get it to him switching around left end, and he doesn't get much, maybe two. That looked like a very slow development play. Kylan Johnson off tackle to the left. It looked like an extremely long time for that play to develop. And it's a two-yard game. Sets up second and eight. Now, when you got a throwing attack, Corey, and got a Matthew Albert back there, you're never out of the game for sure. Oh, absolutely. Quick strike offense. Gornsville has, for sure, Smith County needs to get a long, sustaining drive here in an ideal world and punch it into the end zone. Second eight from their own 32-yard line. Smith County pal, the freshman, he scored all three out touchdowns. Fake it, get it back to Hicks, Hicks nothing. Loses the one as Dudney wraps him up. That Gordonville momentum has truly swung here with two minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Al's on top, 19-7. to Al's going to be on the 31-yard line of their own territory on third down and about nine. Huge play coming up for the Al's offense. Third and nine from the 31. Penalties have... Uh, it's worse than Achilles' heel. It's, uh, it's just about we blowed her whole leg off. Three, third and nine from the 31. Powell in the shotgun. Turns, 
fakes it, going to throw it. Got a guy open, trying to float it to Hicks. Hicks got it. He's at the 40. 35, 30. He's still going. 15, 15, inside the 10, down inside the 5. Five, get it up, all good for the Hicks. Caden Powell, what a tremendous play from the freshman quarterback. He's rolling to his right. Got all kinds of pressure coming from the Gordonville defensive line. He throws a nice flow pass over the Gordonville defender to Hicks, who then gets loose, breaks a couple of tackles down the sideline, and completely swings the momentum. You're talking about a game changer, Corey Mack. That was a 64-yard pass play. Gordonville had all the momentum. He just scored. Tremendous. Now talent. the Owls trying to answer the Tigers' score with one of their own. First and goal, that's the five. What a throw from the freshman quarterback, and then what a catch and yards after catch he is from here. Really, he, he has really struggled preseason throwing the football, but tonight he has been spot on. Yes. Impressive, Terry, especially in this environment and the hype of this game for a freshman playing quarterback. 2-11 to go here, third quarter, Owls up 19-7. I'm sorry, they've got a player down on their sideline. I did not see that. I apologize to our listeners. Corey, go ahead. Lish Contracting says go out. Please trust Lish Contracting to build your new custom dream built home. Call 615-489-2166. Well, I've got a sad report, Corey, that uh, saw the house in Lebanon. That's your last year as the Owl color man in the first year, 70-something kids out for Gordonville. That's great. That's a, for a 1A school, it's almost unheard of. Uh-oh, they give it to Keeley. Keeley's got some running room. Keeley's got six. He's going in Powell in the... Called a late flip. Scores. They called a late block in the back, one yard deep in the end zone. Let's see, 204 left. I think you're right, Corey. It comes from the back judge. They did. Honestly, it was, but it was really too late. He was done in the end zone. Whew. State penalties have hurt us tonight is a fast understatement. They're going to talk with the referee here, uh, the side he, judge, to see if he was in the end zone when the flag was thrown. That's my question, Terry. He has done broke the plane. And he was done in the end zone. they are going to wave, wave off the it flag, off. give yeah. Keeley the touchdown first of his career. And what happened there, Jameson Keeley, the big all-state defensive tackle, now playing fullback as well, bounces off tackle to the left, breaks the tackle, gets into the end zone. When he's about one foot into the end zone, we have an Al defender block a Gordonville defender in the back. have no idea why, but every, anything's happened tonight. But it was weighed off because Keeley had done, broke the plane of the end zone. That's a 25-7 lead for the Al, going for two it looks like. Hicks and Lida come in. Out sprint Ryan Martin, the junior. Terry, I'll, I'll say this. Two yards out, it'd be hard to stop like a quarterback power. Right. Ten blockers and pal. Right. That's just my thought. Well, the ball's at the three. They've got Curry and Hicks to his left and right, pal in the shotgun. I think they do just that. Then right in the motion, left to right, fake it to him. No, they gave it to him, and he didn't get anything. No, he broke loose, and he scored. How did he get out of that trap? Uh, Johnny Lida gets the ball running directly to his right. Somehow he gets escaped from everybody. Then he runs directly to his left and actually goes into the corner of the left end zone when he was running right originally. Lida with the two-point run. The Owls extend their lead to 27-7. to 7. 2.04 to go in this first quarter. You're listening to how long. He hits the kickoff once again. This oh, much better. better. Adam sees it. Bounced up to him at the 19. And he'll go down somewhere around the 30. Little activity after the flag. I mean, in three flags. Blank we have three flags on the field, and I'm pretty sure all of them are some form of dead ball. Right. Well, you, you're frustrated. If you're a senior or whatever, you're on the white sideline, you're frustrated. If you're on the aisles, you're frustrated because... You have made so many, so many dumb penalties. But I guess it's part of the game, right? Got to be more disciplined for sure. Okay. I'll say we're, we're waiting, wanting to get the crowd up. 
uh, instead of putting your hands and waving the crowd, put them over your mouth. That way you may not say something you shouldn't get us another 15 yard play. Adams returned the ball to the 30. He picked up 11 yards. Minute 57 to go here in the third. What's well, taking so long, Terry? So many flags on the field. Uh, well, just make the call. They, they took three or four minutes on this. Make the call and go on. White hat, finally, going to address the home side. Personal foul, face mask, owl. Personal foul, Gordon, offsetting flag. So, Corey, that doesn't count on either team, but because they're not stepping off, but still more, well, like you said, Monday probably is not going to be a good time to be watching the film with Matt Dyer if you're out. I haven't done or this. Sunday or whenever. I haven't done this as long as you, Terry, but I've done it a while, and I don't know if I've seen this many. No. Well, then marked out for 40. Well, comes up to 45. Why don't you even step it off if it's off steady? Because both of them are 15 yard penalty. Now he's going to run back. He's getting a little exercise in, Terry. Yeah, he's kind of like me. He just should be on the 30th where he was tackled at. And they said it on the 31. Who knows? Yeah, they're going to set it on the 31. One yard gain. Yeah, on the walk off, which is supposed to be 15 yards each way. First and 10, 31, minute 57. All Britain in shotgun behind him to Schaefer. Third quarter. All Britain fakes it, gets it out the flat to Gentry. Gentry makes one owl miss and gets a little yard. It's not a lot. As I'm running a little, going to run a quick pass out to Gentry, who's already scored a touchdown earlier tonight. Makes a couple owl defenders miss, but too much black and gold there to bring him down after about a three yard gain. He's out to the 34, pick up a three, sets up second and seven. Ford will in the hurry up, hands it off to Schaefer. Oh, he is and mauled. Says, no sir, Reed. Absolutely mauled. Jameson yeah. Keeley doing what Jameson Keeley does. Throws number four, Austin Schaefer, to the ground very forcefully. Ball's going to go back, Sonic Sack, to the 32, lost off to. So that's going to set up third and nine. Corns will run again. It's been shut down by the Owls front. Third and nine from the 32. Now looking to the sideline, 54 seconds. They go in the third. Owls up 27 to seven. And now, flag. Nope, timeout. Cornville. Yep. We'll take one, two, 41.4 to go in the third. You're listening to our ball. All right, the Albritton in the shotgun for the Tigers. Third and nine from the 32, only 41.4 seconds left here in the third quarter. That was up 7 nothing and a half, lead at 27-7 now. Albritton. Deep middle. Oh, Ooh. he sacked. He tried to get a clay from the time Martin said no, sir. At that time, Gordon's were going deep that time. Actually had it. Receiver running a post route probably had a chance for Albritton to get it to him, but Albritton was running from his life. That time he was running for, to his left, runs right into number five. Oh, big Ty Martin who knocked him to the ground easily. Gordonville in fourth and long. Fourth and 12 from their own 29. Quarter's been dominated by the Owls for sure. They've got three touchdowns this quarter. Six seconds to go, and they're just going to let the clock run out. That'll be the end of three. Owls lead it 27-7. Fourth quarter action. When we return, you're listening to Eyeball. Greer went went out with cramps. I don't know if he's been back or not. I'm sure my man Pat Warren over on 104.1 The Ranch could answer that. Him and Rusty Burton. Fourth and 12 from 29. Albert Hunt is away. High spiral. The other way. And Warsher standing underneath it, but luckily it didn't hit him. And Gordon will touch it down somewhere around 38. Corey, go ahead. Hashtag Holly for ladies and little girl clothing plus a gift room. They also have Duke Cannon products for men located on Main Street in Carthage. First and 10 from the 38. Corey, go ahead and get one more. The Smith County Drug Prevention Coalition reminds you 
that tobacco kills more people than alcohol, car crashes, illegal drugs, murders, or suicides. Commit to success and don't start. 33-yard punt from Albritton is a good thing for the Tigers. No return. 11.49 left in the fourth and final quarter. Owls up 27-7. Of course, the Owls will play right here at home against DeKalb County. A 35-34 winner over Warren County last night. Next Friday night. Here's Johnson sweeping around right in. And he'll get maybe one or two. That time Johnson got strung out, out wide, tried to make the number six. The cornerback there missed for Rennick, the Tigers. And a uh, nice, nice tackle there, like Terry mentioned there, a we, number six there. We had a pulling uh, uh, guard there, but uh, he couldn't get down the field quick enough. Johnson kind of out, outran him. Outran his blocker. Second six and 42. If he slows down and lets him get his block, Corey, it could have been a huge game. Second six from the 42 for the Owls. 11-11 left. Powell to Preston. Turns. Got a hole. There's Madewell. He's got a lot of running room. And Adams, Kyle Adams did a great job dragging him down. That's Madewell's first carry, Ethan Madewell. Uh, Ethan Madewell, right tackle there, and they had a nice, nice hole to run through because he was sealed off there. And honestly, like Terry mentioned, if it's not for the hand, and I think that was the hand of 34 Kyle Adams, Madewell goes untouched down the sideline. But nevertheless, big pickup there. From Madewell. You know, it's good to have a player of Madewell's caliber, Corey, to come in off the bench and rail off 26. And you know he was fresh. Yeah, he's fresh. Rigsby and Lida split right. Allen's doing a good job up front. Braxton Tersey, the center. Joe Daniel Stout, Jimmy Enix. Uh, got Big Dane Woodard. Number 63 looks like Seth Barnhart at left guard. They'll turn this time. Mabel sweeping around left end. Got a little run room. A nice cut. Ball forward, and there's another flag. That, well, that time, Maywell runs the same play to the left. And that time, Gordonsville did have containment. Makes him cut back inside. He had a nice pickup of about four or five, but we have two flags, shockingly, on the field. It's been a big negative for the Owls here. He got down to about the 27, so he picked up five, but that's coming back as we've got a illegal block in Seattle. So they are going to call it a four-yard game, illegal block, Al. Get it back to the Cornwall Tiger, 38. Most time I can figure stats in my head. I don't know that I can do that penalty yard when I get here close to the end of the game. It's going to be first and 16 from the 38. Al turns. Oh, double oh, handoff. He oh. got it back. How and he get runs back? around right in. Did Evans and Evans making people yeah. pass. He gets down to the 25. The ball got tipped, and Evans somehow, he was trying to hand it off. Maintain the double dribble <laughs> and get 13 yards. Yeah, what Terry's missing there, Dow's going to run that slice play, the double handoff, and Aiden's meant to hand it off. It was a bobbled handoff. It went back to Evans, who turns around and starts running to the right, gets a foot race to the sideline there, and then doesn't go out of bounds, and then runs over the top of a Gornsville Tiger and gets a nice pickup. Second and three from the 29. Of course, Evans and Maple both fresh. Here in the fourth quarter, 9.53 to go there in the Powell, freshman at quarterback. There's a man in the motion, Bush. Turns, hands to Evans, going straight ahead. Not He's got good. the turn room for 20, inside the 20. Finally, horse collared down by Ethan Elkin. And is there a flag? Yeah. yeah. There is? Yeah. He fired a flag, this guy right here. Okay. He's got it to the what? Steve Bray said penalty on the play, and the crowd says no kidding. That Ball. time was a very nice run there by Evans. Holding out. So Evans gets eight, and then we'll move it back. Evans had a nice run there, though. The way to use his blockers had nice vision. Lowers his head when he feels the contact. And shockingly, the Owls are backing up again. Ten more yards. What? What's crazy, Terry, is that sometimes these happen way down the field. Ball back to the 28 yard line. The 
chapter 28, it will be second and six from that point. Al's up 27-7, 9-22 to go here in this fourth and final quarter. Al, on the entire way at quarterback. The turn. Hand it off to Maple. Oh, nice Boy, run. Maple's wow. Good job running the football. And he gets it close to the 20. And number 11, Maple, running hard. Terry, like you mentioned, Evans and Maple coming in very fresh, running very fresh. You know, they're good enough to start on a lot of teams. Uh, they're going to say step down to 22. And that is close to first down. But they're going to say first down. They right? called the first down. Six yards on the pickup. You know, it's good to have depth, Corey. Especially when you get late into a game, especially the first game of the season. A lot of people playing both ways. First and 10 at the Tiger 22. Alpha up 20. 8.59, clock should be moving. Not. Powell, low snap, hands it to Mabel. Mabel makes a good cut. And dragging those horns with him. with him. Inside the 20, somewhere around the 16. Mabel just carrying Gorns with the fenders. I almost feel like Gorns with wheel has been broken somewhat. You know, in, in Gordon's defense, and I don't mean this in a negative kind of way, Corey, they're so undersized against this mammoth owl line. You know, it's uh, it's tough, especially uh, if you need players they have got going both ways. Second and four from the 16. I do see Greer back in there for the Packers. Second four from the 16, 820 to go. Of course, Powell, he's looking right at that play clock, but he's not letting it run down to close to zero. He'll turn. Hand to Martin, and Martin got nothing. 16 Ryan Martin is for a series. And 16 Ryan Martin cuts left, cuts right into the big defensive end, Will Dudney, who throws him to the ground immediately. Nice play by the senior there, Gornsville defensive end, Dudney. And he throws it out for a yard loss. It's up third and five. You know, Corey, besides the penalty, the Owls, to my recollection, don't have a turnover tonight. Knock on wood, hopefully that continues. But we'll clean the penalties up a little. I thought the defense flew around. Of course, they did give up the one pass play. But, you know, they've done a solid job. Yes. Seven and a half minutes ago, Hagel beside the freshman, Powell, takes it. You know, they give it to Kaysen. Kaysen gets nothing. He might have lost the yard. He's running him in the short side of the field. Corey, it's very hard to do with the... Uh, Man is uh, small. It's your main case, and he's 5'8, a buck 35. Yeah. A little speed sweep there. Casey running right to left. Like Terry mentioned, ran to the short side of the field. Not much he could do there. Going to set, set up fourth down. Six. Actually, about six. Correct. Al's going to keep the offense on the field. Four six at the 18. Of course, with Gaspar out, he's the only kicker listed for the Owls. He has uh, got some ice on a knee uh, that he saw just a moment ago. He's standing on the sideline now with Nick that eyes his case yes. Fourth and six. Powell calls his signal. Going around right in. Mabel. And there's another flag and the Tigers stop on short. So they'll just they'll just decline this to where it will be turn it over on down. Twenty seven left. Powell have a holding infraction that they will decline. Ethan Madewell that time tried to string it out to the right. He did get outside the containment of Gordonville, but could not get the yardage required for the first down, so the Owls will turn the ball over on down. Holding Owls to climb. 27 left in this one. Tigers will try to get their second scoring drive. And the ball will be set at somewhere around the 15. Referee's been walking around with it for a while. Now they swap footballs out, get the Owls their back. Now they're going to set the ball at the 14-yard line. So he got forward and made one needed six. First and 10 at their 18-yard line for the Gordonville Tigers. The first year head coach, Stephen Jackson, for Scott Clemens, this coach last year, still on the staff.
First and 10 to 18, and in the shotgun is Albrecht. Turn, get it to a knee back. No, he just kept it. Uh, I had to. point wasn't good, and uh, Albrecht goes down for a sonic sack. Yeah, Albrecht, not sure if he was handing it off or running play action, but by the time the mesh was not good, like Terry mentioned, James Kitty was right in his face, Kitty with the sack. Back to the 12. Yeah, 12. The belt lost six. Was with it. Second, 16 from their own 12. High pass, they get it complete and knocked down immediately. That was the number 20. 25. Yeah, 25 there. Williams. Andrew Williams. Andrew Williams. Run about a five yard out route. Knocked down by the corner. Senior corner, Tristan Washer. Ball sits on the 20. Sets up third and eight. Got all Britain. Got, I believe it's number I can't tell who's the running back here, so I apologize. Maybe Anthony Fuller, I just can't see. No, it's 27. That is uh, Bryson Griffin. They'll throw it to Albrecht and complete the gentry. Gentry dragged down by the Owls. Ryan nice Martin. tackle there by Ryan Martin, number 16. That time Albrecht had to sprint out to his left because he had some pressure from the Owls' defensive line. He throws it in the flat, like Terry mentioned there, but it was a nice tackle there. By number 16, Ryan Martin. On number 15, Brady Gentry. Gordon will go in for it. It's fourth and five at the 20. Fourth and one. 23. It's like fourth and a long one. Hold on. Where the ball is. Oh, I'm sorry. The ball's up to 20. No, that's the 23. Right. Ball's at the 18. That's the 23. Should be fourth and five. Four to the six. The six is four to two, but that's he didn't fit the six right. The drive started on the 18th, and that may be delay again. And it is. Point to the end front formation. That is four down. Their own 18. Career will punt it away with 420 clock counting here in this fourth and final quarter. Out up 27 7. Punt by Greer straight up in the air. He got too close to his uh, protective wall and it was going to be dead at the, 20, at the 46. So a punt of 28 yards. Corey, you got any more reads that we've done? With no, I'm good for the night, Terry. 28 yards. It's going to be a good win for the Owls here with four minutes to go for you. It's been a long game, Terry, it seems like now, yeah. but a lot of that's penalty related. Right. Owls going to get fantastic field position here on the Gordon 45 yard line with oh, exactly four minutes remaining it in the game. Down exactly on the 46, and uh, somehow they lost the yard when it went from the sideline to the hash mark. First and 10 to 45, Al's have got some second units. Sprinkled in with some first units. Al's going to look like a two-game losing streak. To the Tigers. they got a case at quarterback. Hands off to Johnson. Johnson's got some running room. Down about the 38-yard line. Pick up seven for Kylan Johnson. And nice job by Kylan Johnson. That time he gets outside, can tame it to the right, then gets north and south, lowers his head. And we have a uh, Gordonsville player cramping, which is going to happen, especially late in the game. 343 to go in this, and we'll take a break. We'll be back with more. You're listening to Outball. There's a nice circle in that last one against East Nashville. Yep. But there's some big games between now and then. East Nashville, the state runner up to Alcoa in 3A last season. I also have Kaysen in the shotgun by himself. Must be a quarterback keeper. Yep, that's right. He can fly, too. And he's got Ab- some running room. He can Making absolutely miss. And Jirabo's got first down yardage inside the board for 30. Another personal foul. I'm not even going to ask against who. Against the black and gold. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a more undisciplined effort from an Al team. I guarantee it's going to set a record for the most penalty yardage ever by an Al team in the game. I promise you. Personal foul. 
after play, it's the out. Kaysen got to the, I think, 26. Let's see. Corey, you, you and I are alums here, and that's right. just, uh, I mean, it's just disheartening. It's also made for the longest game, I think. That's the 41 after Kaysen picked up 12 to the 26. Kaysen liable to break loose right here. He is, I would guarantee you, the fastest player on the field. He uh, is electric. He scored both their touchdowns against Watertown in the second quarter last Friday night in Gambray. First to 10 at the Tiger 41. 306 to go in this one. Clock now running. 25 on the play clock. The Owls could run that down. Casey snaps it. Gets Johnson swings around right in. Johnson's got some running room to about the 31 32 yard line. Yard line. Nice job by Johnson that time running to the short side of the field right in front of Terry and I in the press box here and gets up the sidelines and lowers his head and gets a nice pick up there. So 32, pick up a nine, just up second and one. As soon as the house can get one more first down, they'll probably take a knee and go to the house. Second one at the 32. Al's second half, uh, Corey, have really dominated play. Well, third quarter was right. completely dominated by the black and gold. There will be Casey. He's got Mabel to his left. 208 to go in this one. He'll turn, give to Mabel. Mabel, nothing. Gonna be not for long. Number eight for Gordonville, Ethan Elkins with the initial lick. Also Remington Baines, also Will Dudney. I think now everybody just wanting the clock to run, Terry. Uh, Both sides of the field. Minute and forty-two remaining. That's a three-yard loss for the Owls. That's up third and four. Ball's back at 35. 87 comes in for the Owls. He is Nathan Davis, a senior. Minute 17. Seven seconds on the play clock for Kaysen. Got to hurry up. Four, three, two, one, and play clock a lap. 106 to go. Of course, you're going to set the school record. You may <laughs> want to set it so high that nobody else breaks it. Of course, we don't have records that go back that far, but uh, I promise you, close to 200 yards. Counting the ones that were... Uh, this, I would think, might be the last play from scrimmage. 55 seconds, clock is moving. There's nine from the Tiger 40. Hayson. Those tires pointing at the play clock. 28 seconds, 27, 26. He can run it. And then, like Corey said, this will be the last play. He dropped the football, and that may be the Owls' first turnover of the game, and he is. And, of course, that's going to stop the clock. Recovered by number 26 for Gordonville, and that's Gett Underwood. Next point, Casey, you didn't know sure if he's trying to hand it off or what. Now the game is longer, Terry. So set the clock running out there. Owls fumble. Gordon's over covers, and the game continues. 31.9 seconds remain. First and 10 for the Tigers at their own 45. A lot of greener pastures uh, ahead for both of these teams. With 54 coming in for the Owls, it's Landon Butler, 56, Jay Howe. High mark still out there. 68 is Trenton Solomon, he's in there. Now we've got Paul Britton at quarterback. Bryson Griffin, sophomore running back, is behind him. Turns, gives to Griffin. Griffin makes a good cut. Makes another good cut. And he's dragged down by Riley Lawless. Right about the midfield. Bryson showing some, I mean, uh, Griffin, not Bryson, his first name, showing some good maneuvers there. And he'll get out to midfield. 
and that's going to be eight seconds to go. And the Owls going to win it 27 to 7. And Gordon Ball did not get the snap off. Yeah, they did say get it off. The rest of going to be sacked. Sonic sack, and that will be number 68 for the Owls, Trenton Solomon. Looks like a break. Owls win it. 